What does it feel like to play a Tim Burton outsider? Look, the quintessential outsider is Dumbo at the center of the film. You know, somebody who, even amongst the weirdness of the circus performers, separates himself by virtue of his physical anomaly. We've all felt like the outsider, you know, some more than others. It's, sometimes it's imposed upon people, which is obviously cruelly wrong. Sometimes you just feel it anyway. You just feel your essential otherness, you know? What is that? I love Tim Burton outsiders. Tim and I relate to that in a big way both feeling a little bit like outsiders. We start out going through life, a little bit of an oddity. I feel like I've always felt that way myself, and I'm sure Tim has. I've always felt like just a little bit outside. When I read the Venom character, I said, well, that doesn't apply, but in fact it does. And there's a couple lines of pay attention where you, he talks about his father. That's, that's really important because you go, it's kind of all of us, you know, feeling, especially the circus world. But that's exactly right. And Michael tapped into like cause every character in it doesn't quite fit in. All those old Disney movies, they had a mixture of joy and melancholy and loss, you know, all that kind of stuff mixed together. And I think that was the goal with this. Charming. I like different characters. You know, like Tim gave me the opportunity to play a kind of a cuckoo witch in Dark Shadows, kind of a woman bird who is very caring and, you know, protective and a bit strange. And then now we've got Colette Marchand, who is a totally different character, who is kind of maybe a more a clearer character, there's a bit more light in her, I would say. We have to learn to accept people how they are. I've always gone through it as uh, myself, being creature-like, five foot tall, walking into a room, you know, always being a little bit odd. But it's and your strength now. It's I my mean. strength now. So you, well, well, that's what happens. You see, you, you find that catalyst, that, that bridge to, to, to uh, confidence, to creativity, and then you can let it go. For me, Dumbo was a very beautiful symbol of all this kind of stuff. And then being able to work with like Michael and, and Danny and Evan, people that I love, you know, because it's about weird family, that was a very beautiful and crucial part of it.